Aloha, Scott Sullivan Bell coming live from Sacramento, California, June 8, 2016, 540 in the afternoon. Perfect day to talk about sales. So here's the thing. I've been doing a lot of ride-alongs last couple of weeks. I've got a lot of really good examples, and I rode with this really smart salesperson. And the guy's too smart for himself. And I want to explain why this sales sabotage happens. So this guy, wanting to prove that he's smart to his buyer, instead of asking a group of small questions, he asked this really long, complex, really tough to think about question. Now the problem with that is, is the buyer wasn't expecting it and they didn't know how to answer it. And then the salesperson got upset because the buyer wouldn't answer his question because it was too big and too complex. So you are far better off as asking a couple of small questions that are gonna lead you to the answer that you need than wanting to look smart and ask these big, huge question where the buyer's like, I don't really know how to answer that. <laughs> right, and they just sit there or they fumble around like, oh, well, on a Wednesday, on a full moon, if I stub my toe, right? They go into this long story and it never really gets to the point because they didn't understand the question was being asked. The more specific of a question you have, the easier it is for someone to pinpoint the answer and pull it out of their brain and go, oh, I know what you're saying, right? But if they have to really think about it and really dig around for it and really fight for it when they're not used to it, there might be a little bit of a trouble. So if you're running into a buyer's where they're not really asking your, answering your questions, it could be one or two things. That you're in interrogation mode and you're just like, boom, I'm gonna throw all this stuff at you and you gotta answer all my questions whatever, and it's rapid fire. Or the question is too big for their mind to pick up and for them to figure out what's going on. So the only way you can find this out is, one, if you ask them if you could record, because you have to ask that. You got, hey, can I record this? I'm just trying to figure out my sales process. Or if you bring somebody along with you and they watch your process and they go, hey, you know what? You're in full on interrogation mode. You're very intimidating or you're in professor mode and you're asking too big of a question that they don't know how to answer. So there you go. That's two forms of self-sabotage in one. They're kind of the same thing, but kind of not, right? Kind of same thing, kind of not, but be careful with it. So if you're asking too big of a question, just know the buyer is going to be like, I don't know how to answer that. I don't know what to do. Hopefully here's an answer that you're going to take and then we're going to run with it. But that doesn't really help you out as a salesperson. It creates confusion. And then since there's confusion, there's no definite answer. All right. Be careful with your questions. Now, if you could do a small favor for me, in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story. That'd be fantastic. To the right, to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon, thanks for watching, aloha.